Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the Agreement Management, a full stack application development with Hyperledger Fabric. My name is Pawan and I will be instructor for this course. I am thrilled to be your guide for this exciting journey. In this course, we will be covering a full stack application, specially focusing on the Hyperledger Fabric. We will be covering basic to advanced on the Hyperledger Fabric and the full stack application so that you can apply this, your skill to the real world applications and use cases. By end of this course, you will be able to design, develop and deploy Hyperledger Fabric application. Who can enroll this course? Those who are really interested to learn blockchain, specifically on the Hyperledger Fabric, those are welcome. So this course will empower you learning of the Hyperledger Fabric so that you can apply these skills everywhere. This course will empower you to leverage this technology and open a lot of new opportunity in the career. Let's talk about the course structure. So we can see on the screen, there are different components we will be covering in the full, full course. First one is the front end. Front end we are going to create in the React.js and from there we will, will be invoking the transactions. Next one is the Node API. So we are going to utilize Node.js for writing the API and this API will be interacting with the Hyperledger Fabric network. And third component is the blockchain network itself, which is written in the Hyperledger Fabric. Uh, so there are additional components like Explorer. So we will be integrating this Explorer with Hyperledger Fabric and we will be able to visualize this chain of the blocks. Another one thing in the Node.js API, there are additional two components. First one is the MongoDB and second one is the S3 bucket. MongoDB we are using for the storing the user's credential for the authentication purpose. And S3 bucket we are using for storing the document and we can store just metadata of that particular document onto the blockchain. So these are the different components we will be having in throughout the sessions. Another one thing I wanted to specifically mention for writing the smart contract, we will be using the JavaScript. For starting this course, you need to know basic understanding of the JavaScript, basic of the Docker, and one more thing, sales script as well. So basic is sufficient. Anyway, if you are not familiar with that, I will be sharing the resources with this video and you can just learn it. With At the end of this course, let's see how our UI looks like. So this is the login page for this application. And we have one more thing, registration of the uh, new user. When we log in into the system, we can see here, we have different sections. Dashboard, admin, contract history and the user profile. Okay, contracts are nothing but the agreements only documents agreement of the contract so in this contract list section we will be able to see different kind of agreements in progress active expiring soon or all and we have actions here viewing the agreement approving the agreement and approvals we can just see like this we can add new contract here we can have special admin sections for managing the user list we can activate deactivate the users from the dashboard itself, we can create the new contracts, new agreements, we can say, and we have option for choosing the different fields. And here, one more thing, document is also there where we can just upload any kind of terms and conditions as per our business requirement. When we create a contract, we will be able to see uploaded document and which is getting stored onto the S3 bucket. We will be having different actions like creation of the contract, approving the contract, viewing the contract, and even admin dashboard for managing the user. Another one thing, we are going to have this blockchain explorer for visualizing the chain of the blocks. And on this dashboard, we can see a lot of information, number of blocks, transactions, nodes, and the chain code. And inside the chain code, we can have additional information. We can just visualize everything what we have into the blockchain so transactions id right, transaction related information block related information how many organizations are there in the network everything and on the dashboard some major information in the form of graphs once we create a network we will integrate this chain of blockchain explorer and we can visualize all the data inside the blocks we are going to use CousDB as the current state database for the Hyperledger fabric and these services we will be deploying separately. At the end of this course, we can see here these kind of domains we will have subdomains and we'll configure with the deployments and everything or one CousDB, Academy.online. and here we can see the data of that particular agreement which we created.
everything will be covered into the course itself. So let's talk about the course section. What kind of different sections we will be having inside the course. First one is the course introduction. Second one is the fabric core concept. First, uh, we will be going through the core concept of the hyperlaser fabric. And after that, once we are familiar with the different components of the hyperlaser fabric, we will be doing the prerequisite and installation required for creation of the full stack application, which we are talking about. Once we have prerequisite installation, we will initiate the blockchain network creation. And this network will be creating on the virtual machine itself. So once we are done with this blockchain network creation, we will be integrating the API. From the scratch, we will be writing the API and we'll integrate this API with the Hyperledger Fabric network. Once we have this API, we can integrate this blockchain explorer, which we are talking about visualizing the blockchain chain of the blocks. We can integrate it. After that, we'll be writing the UI in the React so that we can integrate this API with the UI and visualize the data on the front end and we can make the different actions like creation of the agreement, getting the agreement, approving the agreements. Okay, so once we are done writing this, all the components, front end, API and the blockchain network, we will be deploying this different kind of services on some specific domains. So that part also I have covered as a separate section. And that's it. At the end of this course, we will be able to visualize this application just I'm showing like this. Get ready to learn, explore and create.